We both worked at an automotive factory in Sandusky, Ohio. I was one of about three female engineers in the plant. I had a picture of my boyfriend on the desk and he said that the day that the picture left my desk was the day he made his move. So he asked me to marry him about seven times. And I just wasn't ready. I was very young and just finally realized that he was the guy. I was pregnant with my boy and I had a really hard pregnancy. Seven weeks after Joshua was born, my husband died suddenly, completely unexpected. As far as I knew, he was asymptomatic, but I'll tell you the truth. I wouldn't know because I was so busy worrying about the baby and my pregnancy that even if he was sick, I don't think he would have said anything. The day that he died was the day that my doctor said I could go back to the gym. I had prearranged that my husband was gonna meet me at the gym. And I pulled into the parking lot and I saw a body and a sheet. And then there were police and there was an ambulance and everything. I turned to my daughter and I said, um, we have to pray because somebody died. The police came to me and they said, um, they said, ma'am, we're sorry about your husband died. I didn't believe him. I was four years old. My dad was my best friend. I didn't want to talk about it. When my dad died, I just wanted to ignore it. I wanted to be like a normal kid. So I was working on my degree in biomedical engineering, developing a computerized stethoscope and used my husband as a test subject. I collected lots of data from him and after he died, we had an autopsy done, and so we knew what he died from, and it was coronary disease. And I knew that I was gonna do something about this horrible thing that happened to us. So I took the data that I had collected from my husband, and we used it as the basis for the cadence device. Using the cadence device, we can pick up some of the markers associated with cardiovascular disease before it gets, gets to the point where you have a heart attack. So some of the obstacles that we encountered were, I would say, 90% IT related. So we, uh, our cadence product was developed. We had, um, we had our Bluetooth working. We were using a laptop computer, and we could not get a reliable internet connection so that we could ship our data back to Northfield. And AT&T helped us. We solved it. We were in and out of hospitals and clinics, and we couldn't find something that worked reliably. But our cell does. If our cell doesn't work, the Wi-Fi works, and so um, the problem is solved. It works. I am so proud of my mom. Absolutely. She's an incredible human being. She works harder than anyone I've ever met. When you take care of your health, you're not just taking care of it for yourself, you're taking care of it for everyone that you love. I felt that I needed to do it not just for the children, because I wanted to help them make sense of this, but then also for the world. I'm focused on saving lives. I think about it every single day.